Ah, uh, play plastic bag some more. We got three leg monkey come find you. Uh. Let's find out about that in our little red jungle. Wow, look, now we so many plants and animals. <laughs> Observing you from every corner of every forested area we have here in Singapore are the long-tailed macaques. Also known as Macaca fascicularis, this monkey is one of the only two remaining native monkey species in our country and the only one that is actually commonly seen. Often painted as food stealers or trash bin rummagers, these monkeys hold a much greater purpose than to just bring about human-animal conflicts. Globally distributed in most of Southeast Asia, these macaques are one of the rare exceptions in nature for a terrestrial mammal to not abide to the Wallace Line. The Wallace Line is a geographical boundary that separates many faunal species from Asia and Wallasia and vice versa, which I'm not complaining about last year because Australia gets some scary ass shit out there, man. This line slices through the Lombok Strait across the bottom end of Indonesia and is a naturally occurring phenomenon due to the extremely deep waters there. Even at the lowest of sea levels, the sheer depth of water along this line creates a water barrier that prevents the transposition of almost any terrestrial animal or non-migratory bird species. Well, almost all except the long-tailed macaques likely boosted by our own human travels during the period of colonization the macaque's capacity to cross the wallace line lies in its mad ecological plasticity unlike a lot of living things that prefer a specific set of living conditions the long-tailed macaques are able to thrive in many different kinds of environments this includes primary and secondary forests grassland or coastal areas and even in mangrove swamps as opportunistic omnivores, their diets are also wide and varied, ranging from fruits, like that of this African oil palm, mushrooms, leaves, bird eggs, and crabs. Which is what gave them their other common name of the crab-eating macaque. But it is this trait of adaptability and limitlessness that plays into their willingness to venture into residential areas. You see, these macaques are innately curious and intelligent creatures. They have evolved to make use of tools like sticks and stones during foraging, and even use hair as dental floss. And because they are such fast learners, our human encroachment into wildlife habitats serves as an open opportunity for easy access to an even wider variety of food. It also doesn't help when park goers feed these macaques because they look cute. Even if you may be feeding them fruits and vegetables, which are part of their natural diet, the act of giving them this food encourages them to leave the forests even more. And this puts them at risk of getting into traffic accidents. Additionally, Feeding them reinforces their perception of humans as being convenient food resources. Which is how they have learned to steal and snatch plastic bags from people whenever they see or even hear plastics. Although they are cute and are pretty comfortable with human presence to a certain degree, it is important to remember that they are still wild animals. As they do have the propensity to attack when they feel threatened, it is important for us to learn how to recognise their body and facial expressions. Although these macaques may cause trouble every once in a while, they are actually very important to Singapore. As you know, due to our rapid development in the 1800s, a lot of our native animals went locally extinct. But thankfully, due to the long-tailed macaques' ecological plasticity, they fill the shoes of the many seed dispersers that are now missing from our forests today. And thus helping with the life cycle of our local wild plants and trees. So let's respect nature as it is, and let's not draw them out from the forest that needs them. And that is all we have for today's episode. If you have any interesting photos or videos of our Singapore wildlife, why don't you send them over to me through my social links and I can feature them in a future video. Don't forget to give that subscribe button a clicky if you want to watch more videos of our Singapore ecology. Thanks for watching and remember, keep your eyes peeled because it's a jungle out there.